Hey everybody, this is Anthony from ComicSeatingApp.net. I'm doing the new comic spec review video for January 31st, 2018. This is the dreaded fifth week edition. The fifth week is the fifth Wednesday of the month. Publishers often put out annuals, one-shots, and other kind of off-the-wall, uh, unrelated books on the fifth weeks. So this is a spec light week with only a few spec books, but a couple of books worth looking out for. Let's look at the best of what this week has to offer us. Hungry Ghost number one looks very interesting. It's written in part by Anthony Bourdain and has a cover by Paul Pope. I'm a big Paul Pope fan, as I've uh, said many times on here. It combines two of my favorite things, horror and food, into an anthology of ghost stories. It looks interesting. I will grab the first issue. DC has a really big week, even for a fifth week, with some really interesting releases. Dark Knight Metal number five is out this week. It features a great Batman Who Laughs cover. This is by far the best regular cover for the book so far. Harley Quinn number 36 sports a great Frank Cho cover. This is the third cover of the month for Harley. Still, I love Frank Cho's covers and I'm going to be picking this one up. JLA Doom Patrol special number one's out this week and it sports a Frank Quitely cover. This is the first part of Milk Wars, which is a very strange crossover between Justice League and Doom Patrol. Silencer number one is out this week. It's one of the new characters that DC is launching out of the metal storyline features one of the vertical fold-out covers as well. Essentially, it's a super-powered female Punisher. It reminds me a lot of Revenger by Charles Forsman. I love his work, and Revenger was an awesome story of revenge. If this is half as good as that book, I'm definitely going to enjoy it, and I'm looking forward to picking this one up. Motherland's number one is a new vertical book. This is a dimension-hopping, criminal-blasting story of two extraordinary female bounty hunters in a world where bounty hunters are celebrities. DC has been putting uh, previews of this in some of their books, and it looks pretty interesting. It's worth the grab. Like I said, this is kind of an oddball book for DC to be releasing, but it's a perfect fifth-week book. So if you're looking for something to read this week, grab Motherland's number one. Spawn number 282 is out this week, and we finally get the new character that's getting their own series. Maybe. Images seem to move this character's appearance around, and it's announced a couple of times that the character was going to be in different books. This is apparently the one that the new character is going to appear in. Not a big week for Marvel, but like I say, Marvel books always sneak up on you. Moon Knight number 191. The last issue we found out, Moon Knight had a secret that even Moon Knight didn't know about. Kind of put the series on its ear. It's definitely worth the grab. Grab 190 and grab 191 if you haven't read them yet. Max Bemis is doing a great job writing this book. Star Wars Episode Eight: The Last Jedi, DJ number one is out this week. This is the second Last Jedi crossover book, even though we haven't gotten a real adaptation of The Last Jedi yet. This one's focusing on the stuttering thief for hire, kind of Han Solo without the charm. Not much on the indie front this week, but fan favorite Infernoc number four is out this week. If you haven't read this book, give it a try. Mina Elwell is a fantastic writer. Uh, she's uh, 22 years old, just turned 22, as a matter of fact, and she's a fantastic talent. Chim Chum and the Portly Samurai number one is the only new independent book out on the market this week. Not putting much stock in it, though. It is an all-ages book. Seems kind of uh, goofy, but uh, you never know with these indie books, especially on a, a week like this one. So that's it for us this week. Thank you for watching. Please remember to give us a thumbs up and follow us if you haven't done so already. We're trying to get to that magical 1,000 like number. If you're watching on ComicsEatingUp.net, let us know what you're specking on. If you're watching on Facebook or another site, hop over to YouTube or ComicsEatingUp.net to join the conversation. I'll see you next Wednesday.